first of all thanks for being here in my youtube channel so this special data interpretation video or specially made for the students those who are going for a cat level exam as well as students those who are going for a bank mains exam so in those exams you can able to see a very difficult data interpretation so in order to crack that i will be posting these kinds of difficult data interpretation videos so do not forget to watch all my videos but remember one important thing before watching this video you have to know this the same data interpretation question what i am going to teach now is available as a test so first visit my website or my mobile application there in a quantity quantitative aptitude session you can able to see at the last data interpretation bracket means so inside that the same question what i'm going to teach in this set available as a test first write the test and check what is your score whether you are getting five out of five or you can't able to understand the da itself so first write the test after writing the test come and watch this video for solution without writing a test if you watch this video completely 100% the video will be useless no use so first write the test and analyze what is the mistake that you have done where you have done the mistake and then watch this video right definitely it will be helpful for the students those who are going for cat exams and bank mains exam so let me move on to all the difficult data interpretation question on these types of videos so friends now getting into 28th data interpretation for mains level competitive exam right so here in this 28th da we will be solving a da that is based on the concept of trains right because they have given two pie chart so i hope you have taken a test so kindly take the test first because it is 28th video already i have posted 27 data interpretation for mains level do not forget to write the test first and then come and watch this video right only then you can able to understand your mistakes so now getting into the 28th video they have given two pie chart so first pie chart based on speed of the train and the second pie chart that is based on uh, the time taken to cross a pole right so i hope you know that if, if if you know the time and distance i hope you can understand this the major two concept in time and distance is one is train crossing a pole or a rock or a standing man one concept or else the train that is crossing a bridge or else a running man so these concepts are different so i hope you know this if not kindly I, I think in the previous video itself i have told you time and distance time and work and the probability plays a major role if you are preparing for ibbs po mains or sba po mains and ibbs clerk mains why because when we look at the previous year question papers of ibbs exams and sba exams you can definitely see one da that is based on something related to time and distance or else problems on train this much of passengers are there who booked the train ticket and this much percentage of passengers who cancel the train ticket and this much of passengers are in a waiting list and sometimes they will give you a train details also five trains are there so this train starts it from this station at 6 pm and the second train is speed is this much and it's started two hours delay so these kind of da are most most important because most of the exams you can able to see tough level competitive exams you can able to see these kind of question that is based on a train or else uh, time and distance like car five cars so these kinds of questions are more more important i know i hope you know the basics right so if the train crossing a pole what you need to do if a train crossing a bridge what you need to do and then conversion of kilometer to meter per second meter to kilometer per second why because look at the chart carefully where the first chart is in kilometer per hour but when you look at the second pie chart in seconds so what you need to do is after finding the speed of each train you have to convert into a meter per second and then only you can able to find the length of the train why because the second value what they have given is in terms of second and the first value what they have given is in terms of kilometer per hour right okay so now let me solve this question so first i think they didn't give you any note nothing like that just they have given a chart value and all the chart values are given so when you look at the chart values carefully some value is in the uh, term of direct number 
and some values are in a percentages and some value are in terms of degree. So I, 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 I hope if you watch 25, 26, 27 data interpretation, I have told you if some values are given in percentage, some values are given in degree, what you need to do? Either convert all the values in terms of degree or else convert all the values in terms of percentage. So now you can see what I'm going to do is I can convert into percentage, right? Because that seems to be easy or else next chart I will convert into degree and show you. Right? So first 36. It's a direct value, so we can keep 36 as it is. We don't want to change anything here. So next will be 15 percentage. So 15 percentage we can keep as it is. Why? Because the value is in percentage itself. And the next value is 90 degree. So convert into percentage 390 divided by 360 into 100. So plus next will be 270, 20 percentage. So keep it as it is. And next will be 108 degree. So 108 degree will be 108 divided by 360 into 100. So finally we have written 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So 5 trains and I am going to convert all the values in terms of percentage. So I am writing equal to 100 percentage. So friends understood. In case if you are converting all the value in terms of degree, you have to write equal to 360 degree. Right? Don't forget this. So now what we can do here is... First, we can cancel a 0, 0 here. 1, 9, sir, 9. 9, 4, sir, 36. Cancel it. 1, 4, sir, 4. This will be 25. So, finally, we converted into percentage, right? So, similarly, we can cancel this. So, this will be... Okay, so we can cancel a 0 and a 0 here. So, cancel it on 9 table. 9, 4, sir, 36. Cancel it on 9 table. 1 9s are 9, remaining will be 1, 9 2s are 18, 1 4s are 4, 4 3s are 12, which is 30 percentage. So 36 plus 15 percentage plus 25 percentage plus 20 percentage plus 30 percentage is equals to 100 percentage. So now add all the values 30 plus 20 will be 50. So here we have 30, 80, another 5, 90. So total all these value will be 90 percentage. So 36 is equals to 10 percentage. So friends understood or not? 100 percentage minus 90 will be 10 percentage. So 10 percentage will be 36. Then what about 100 percentage? So 100 percentage is equals to 360. So friends understood. So finally we got, so total all the five train, the speed will be 360 km per hour. So now finding train A, train B will be easy. Why? Because just look at the chart where 20 per 90 percentage or what 15 percentage. So 15 percentage is for train A. So we can easily find what is 15 percentage of the number. So similarly the next will be 90 degree. For 90 degree we found 25 percentage train B. So train B 25 percentage which is 1 by 4. So we can easily find the now all the train speed is in the form of kilometer per hour because that is most important because you should convert the value right. So finally we got 360 kilometer per hour is the sum of all the five train speed. So by just remember it in case if all the values are in percentage we can't able to find anything here right definitely there will be some note will be given in the chart but here in the pie chart one value alone is in the term of number right which is most important so that we can easily find what is some percentage number so once understood or not right so this is the one important thing you need to remember it because in most of the tough level DA you can able to see there will be nothing given in the chart. Usually I have seen pie chart there will be no values given but some percentage value will be given, some x value will be given, some degree value will be given and at one point one normal integer value will be given in it. So if one value has been given in the chart then it is easy you can equate it either 100 percentage or 360 percentage. So you will get some answer definitely. Right? Keep that in mind. So now friends like getting into the second chart, so second chart is what? It is based on a pole, at a, what is the saying? The below chart shows that the time taken by the train to cross a pole. So and they have given in seconds. So similarly look at the value 40 degree, just I can zoom it out, 48 degree, so in just a minute, okay. So 48 degree and then 20 percentage 84 degree normal number 40 right normal number 40 so one value is in a normal number so it is easy to find and the last is 60 degree i think most of the values are in degree so instead of converting into percentage better we can convert all the numbers in terms of degree 
Why? Because just look at the values, only one number, which is 20 percentage are in terms of percentage. All the remaining numbers, it seems like in terms of degree. So better instead of converting into percentage, I can convert into a degree, right? So first value is 48 degree. So second value is 20 percentage. Yes, 20 percentage. So 20 divided by 100 into 360. So plus next value is 84 degree. So 84 degree. So plus 40. So this will be 40 and next will be 60 degree. Just a moment. A yes, 60 degree is equals to so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Yes, totally we have 5 train and time taken which is equals to 360. Why? Because I am going to convert all the left hand side value in terms of 360, right? Just let me check it out one time. 48 degree, 20 percentage, okay. 84 degree, 84 degree and a normal number 40 and then 60 60 degree right a 60 degree and then which is equals to okay so now getting into this we can solve this zero a zero here we can solve this two times so 48 degree so plus 84 degree plus 60 degree so plus this will be 72 degree so 72 degree plus one normal number that we have is 40 so 140 is equals to 360 degree so now what we need to do is we have to keep that 40 alone towards left hand side because if if you find one degree value then finding all the value will be very easy right and then we can find what is the remaining stuff and it is easy to find it so now we have to add all the values so 60 degree 84 degree this will be 144 degree right so this will be 144 so 144 184 and then 192 plus 72 right 192 plus 72 will be 264 degree so 264 360 degree minus of 264 degree so here we have 60 here we have 36 which is 96 degree so we can say that 40 is equals to 96 degree so friends understood or not right? now you can easily find what is 360 degree because 96 into 3 point uh, 3 point 75 will be so 40 into 3.75 will be 150 so 150 is equals to 360 degree so friends finally we can say that the total right time taken by all the trains right five train total in seconds which is 150 second and the total value what we found here is 360 degree so friends understood or not now i think it is easy to solve the remaining five question what they have given under the chart so because we have found all the pie chart values now i think it is easy let me let me solve for any one train and show you so for train a so now we know the speed and we know the time taken and finding the length of the train is easy so speed is everything is easy okay let me let me show you how to find for the one train i hope remaining will be easy and the given solution also in the test also i have given the solution so i hope you can understand that right but anyway i can uh, friends i can show you because this is the part where many students will will struggle to find it how we can find the value so that's the reason i have posted this video so now getting into train a so what is the speed of the train A? So according to the chart, we know that the speed of the train A is how much? 15 percentage. So 15 percentage is nothing but 15 divided by 100. We know according to the first pie chart, the total speed is how much? 360. So 360 and already I have told you it is in kilometer per hour this is in second so we are going to convert this kilometer per hour into meter per second so kilometer per hour into meter per second is 5 by 18 so multiply by 5 by 18 so resultant answer will be in the term of meter per second so now we can cancel it so this 1 times 18 twos are 36 20 times so 120s are 20 20 5s are 100 cancel 5 and 5 resultant will be 15 so now finally we got 15 meter per second 15 meter per second is speed of the train so speed of the train what we found is 15 meter per second so now next will be time taken so time taken is how much 150 right 150 is that for the total for train a alone it is how much 48 degree so 48 degree is the time taken by the train a so we know the total is 360 degree which is 150 so 150 into where for train A which is 48 degree so 48 divided by 360 so we can cancel 0 0 cancel it on 3 table this will be 12 times 
this will be 5 times 1 12s are 12 12 4s are 48 resultant will be 20 so this will be 20 seconds because all the values are in terms of second right so now time taken by the train a it's 20 second and the speed of the train a is 15 meter per second also by using these two value we can able to find the length of the train because if a train crosses a pole or crosses crosses a rock or else crosses a standing man which is which we you know what to do right so the length is equals to speed into time so when you multiply these two value will be length so length is equals to length of the train a is equals to 15 meter per second so 15 into 20 which is 300 meter so we can say that the train a length will be 300 meter so finally we got all the value we know the train a length we know the train a speed and we know the train a crosses the pole in how much second 20 seconds so i think solving all the five question based on the chart is easy because questions are related to quantity one quantity two i think first question was quantity one quantity two but anyway just we have to find the answer for two things and we have to check which value is greater than that's it right? i think all the five questions are easy let me let me uh, let me see all the five questions what they have given here okay the length of the train d is what percentage more or less so x minus y divided by y into 100 that will be the answer for the first question so second question quantity one find the time taken to cross a and d each other okay so find the time taken to cross a and e each other okay directly we need to find the time taken so time taken is equals to first train second train length divided by the speed easy so next question if the train a crosses opposite direction in 20 seconds it is also easy framing an equation find the average length of all the five train that is also easy and uh, uh, if the ratio between time taken to cross a bridge by train b and e is 2 is to 3 if the length of the platform is what percentage of length of the train you see length of the platform because length of the platform is unknown take it as x so if you take it as x if a train crosses a platform then you have to find the train length plus platform length the resultant will be time taken right so most important thing i think all the five question was little bit easy to solve quantity one yes i think everyone could easily solve all these five questions if you are preparing for the tough level exams because that is not that much uh, difficult but only this area uh, students might get confused so only friends have solved how to uh, get the answer for this right always remember it if it is a pie chart i am talking about only pie chart even in the previous two question also i have said the same thing because i think uh, two question back Similarly, they have given some values are in degree, some values are in percentages. So students uh, usually don't know how to get the answer for it, right? Remember this, if some values are given in percentage, some values are given in degree, always try to convert into any one format and check whether in a pie chart, some direct values are whether they have given it. If they have given some direct values, then finding a value for the complete pie chart will be easy. According to the pie chart one, 36 the direct value according to the pie chart 2 40 is the direct value so it is easy to find what is 100 percentage and here it is easy to find what is 360 degree right so after finding it after finding the total pie chart value then finding the each values uh, category will be very easy because we know the total if we know the total finding each category is easy so that's the thing you need to remember it so friends uh, thank you so much for watching this video again i am saying it's 28th data interpretation if you are preparing for ibbs po sba po and for cat exams kindly watch from video number one or even even you can download it and watch right so download it and keep it on your laptop try to watch all the videos because each and every video what i have posted are most most important because you need to know that concept the basic small concepts are important before watching the video kindly take the test only then you can understand your level right what level you are and whether you can able to crack it or not and what you need to prepare so everything will be uh, known only if you write the same question what i'm going to uh, teach here in the test right so before that if you take a test you can understand it so friends thank you so much for watching this video and if you really like it share the video to your friends those who are preparing for the competitive exams so thank you so much bye